video I'll talk a bit about shields and how they work. Shields do mainly three things. They increase melee defense, they increase armor, and they give a chance to block incoming missiles. Now, the there are two principal differences between most barbarian melee shields and the Hellenic and Roman melee shields, and that is that the barbarian shields give a large increase to melee defense, here seen by an increase of 40. They give a low value to to or a lower value to armor and they have a smaller chance of blocking missiles so in this case they are using a Ketra shield and the Ketra shield is only going to be able to block 20% uh, of incoming missiles although they only confer 5 to armor I guess that's to represent them moving the shields around to try to stop them and shots uh, to stop missiles and such but the uh, when firing at the unit from from the back or from the right where the weapon is the shields aren't going to do anything so if you need to take down units with a high shield value it's best to do it from those angles now cavalry is in a class of its own when it comes to shields because although they have like these these uh, iberian cavalry although they have a pretty decent melee defense from their shields and they have only five armor they are able to block 25 percent of incoming missiles well, the cavalry Ketra shield is only going to be able to block 10%. And this holds true for all of the cavalry shields. They don't go above 25% missile damage block chance. So, although you have cavalry with a lot of armor and uh, pretty decent shields, they are still going to take more damage than infantry from missile fire. There is a diff there is are some um, there are some exceptions to the rule of barbarians having poor uh, poor shields against missiles. In the case of these shell shield walls, they have the best shields for blocking missiles in the game. They have a 60% chance of blocking incoming missiles, and they also have the uh, 35 bonus to melee defense and a 40 bonus to armor. So these shields are very good. If you want to soak up a lot of fire, these are your go-to guys with this webby. And uh, there are also some skirmishers with very good shields here, like these Germanic youths. Although their shields only give 20 and 20 to armor and melee defense, they are going to be able to block 60% of incoming missiles as well. So these are the best shields in the game for soaking up missile fire. Hoplites, on the other hand, have shields that are big and heavy, and they give a lot of increase to armor. They don't give a huge increase to melee defense. Uh, but they do do block around 50% of incoming missiles, and the same is true for the legionaries. Now, in it, it can be said quite simply that, or stated simply that the the um, civilized shields or the Hellenic Roman shields will increase armor, which gives a chance to take away base damage, but it doesn't really do anything to armor piercing damage, but it will decrease the chance of getting hit by missiles and that is the only way to block 100% of missile damage is if the shield uh, if the shield deflects the damage and this holds true there is no there is no hit point value on the shield it just reflects a missile or it doesn't reflect a missile and the same is the case with the melee defense so these guys with their 53 melee defense they will ge get hit more often than these swebby units these spear walls with their high melee defense and the same can be said for the Wodanas they have a very high melee defense so they will get hit less in melee and that's why some of these units do very well against units that have more armor than they have because they just don't get hit while the armored units get hit and they do take some armor piercing damage for each hit and cavalry uh, has shields that is not able to protect the mount and the rider as effectively as an infantryman's shield. So those shields have uh, overall a smaller chance to block incoming missiles. Now there are shields that um, the lowest shield block value is 10 and that's the Kaitra cavalry shields. And the highest missile block chance is on the Germanic small skirmishing shields and the Germanic wall shields. So you can get some idea of how effective a unit is at blocking incoming missiles by looking at the the difference between increase in armor and decrease, uh, increase in melee defense of the shield. So pikemen get a very small 
increase in melee defense of only 10, they get an increase in armor of 30, but they only have a 25% missile block chance. So they are very susceptible to very susceptible to missiles. Now the a pretty special case here is the Thracian shield, because the Thracian shield that is strapped to the arm of the Tra Thracian warriors and the Thracian nobles is going to give a zero increase to melee defense, a 20 increase in armor, and a zero chance to block incoming missiles. So if you have seen uh, Thracian nobles and warriors take missiles, you'll know that they drop like flies, and that is because they block zero percent of their incoming of the incoming missiles, and they take a lot of damage that way. So this was a quick rundown of how missiles work, how the missile how shields work, how the missile a block chance works, it's just a percentage based thing. If you fire at the front of these guys for every 100 missiles that hit, they are going to be able to deflect 60 of them on average. So it's better to shoot at them from the side or from the back. Um, and that's it for shields really. They work quite simply, but it's, it's, it's quite useful to know, like for example, that your your uh, Germanic small skirmishers will be able to soak up a lot of fire for your more high value troops and that the Germanic wall shield is also going to be able to block a lot of missiles and while the Lusitani overall are very susceptible to missile fire they do have some units that can soak it up and they are the units that use the Scutum shield which has a 50% chance of blocking incoming missiles and that goes for the Scutari spearmen and if we look at the Aravachi, for example, the the noble fighters, they have also have the Scutum, I believe, and the Scutari spearmen, of course, have it. And the Scutari will be more resilient to missiles than the veteran shield warriors say, because they have, but they also will have a lower melee defense. They will have a smaller bonus to melee defense than the Lusitani have. So, with the Lusitani. Get them into melee as quickly as possible. Don't take any missile fire. If you have to take missile fire, use the Skutari Spearman to soak off the fire. And the same can be said for the unit for um, well for for the Hellenic and the Roman factions. Their their missile block chances are overall very high, except for on the Pikeman. Um, there are some uh, some oddities like the Thureo Spears. They have the um, uh, Thureos shield which gives a 40% missile block chance and you also have uh, the hoplite shields have a 50% missile block chance and then you have the pelta shield which gives only bring up a peltast uh, then you have the pelta shield which gives 30 a uh, 30 bonus to armor and a 5 uh, let's see here and they have a, a missile block chance of around 50, but then the cavalry shield only has a block chance of 25. So hopefully this was useful. It can be good to know the exact capabilities of your of your units. This uh, Thracian shield is also very a small, small wooden shield that doesn't really give a lot of armor, but that increases the missile block chance. So, now you know how, if you didn't know before, now you know how shields work against missiles and in melee. It, it, it's kind of like the, the, they give a chance of blocking a hit in melee and they give a chance of blocking a missile. And they also have a chance to reduce the damage taken by increasing the armor. But once the damage, is, once a hit actually lands, the shield is only going to be able to block missiles. It's not going to be able to block melee attacks because there's already been a role against the melee defense and the shield is a part of the melee defense so that's kind of the way missiles uh, the shields block damage in melee but if a hit lands in melee then the the armor penetrating damage is always going to be applied but the, the rest of the damage is going to be applied after taking a role against the combined armor of the unit so that's it for shields and I'll see you again on the battlefield.